we want to do something. We want to do something smaller and more like and <laughs> this is our this is our little show about a girl in boarding school. And also, to be honest, we wanted to do a, a show for our daughters. Yeah, because you, you have two daughters each, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 And we also kind of part of it was like the like Smallville, which is like, is there an iconic character who's that there's a chapter that hasn't been told? And so we kind of got to Wednesday Adams, and then yeah, you have a uh, sort of a. <laughs> propensity yeah yeah, no, yeah yeah we own going, that i think yeah. we own that corner now yeah. <laughs> teenage, teenage years uh, teenage years yeah, yeah. Of, yeah. Uh, yeah. so like, what yeah go. it was so we were so we kind of wanted to it's it's a little like getting back to your roots little how do we change it up how do we do something that's in set present day even though it but who was a brought it up building show do you remember who brought it up it, it came well it came out from al because al had been at MGM for with some friends and, and they were working on the animated movie. Um, and Wednesday was the highest testing character in the animated movie. And we thought, oh, that's a really interesting. Mm. Uh, so we're like, oh, that, what if that's live? And here's what's interesting is they didn't know who had the live action TV rights. So we basically came up with the whole show on spec. You know, did a so whole we wrote the Bible. whole so and then Bible. went to Paramount. And then, well, we we had, and then this was also- at Paramount the, did, did the original live action movie. No, so we thought, oh, oh, who has it? Does Paramount have it? Or, because MGM was doing the animated movies and it turned out that MGM had the rights, but they had a very contentious relationship with the rights holder, who's who's a guy named Kevin Mizraki, who was um, Charles Adams's um, like landscape architect who, befriended him and his wife and when they died they left him the estate and he's built it into this in- actually incredible you know franchise what because i don't i don't think what we either of us appreciated was that the adams family is still incredibly popular around the world well clearly right yeah, no no but no, <laughs> yeah. no but, but i don't think but I, we didn't I, I don't think we sort of we we're well, like I think anyone appreciated we knew the adams family we, but we we're like you know because there's a there was a musical about 10 years ago with nathan lane mm-hmm. um and I can't remember who played Morticia. It ran on Broadway for a year. To be honest, not not a terribly good show. It has been the number one produced high school show for the last 10 years, licensed. So when people go, what's my spring musical going to be? It's The Addams Family. So interestingly, kids know The Addams Family. The animated movie came out and made $200 million. So it's one of those it's, things. It's, just pe- like, people love it. People so love wait a minute, it and So it's you're there. saying... You sort of do the research of, you know, demographically, uh, uh, genders, who's watching, is there, is well, it, we, it do you do that before you come no, up with we, ideas? We no, no, we, it, this was something where it was like, oh, here's a character. Nobody knew who had the rights. It's clearly just sitting out there. It's not, here's the other thing. It wasn't owned by a studio, right? There was a, there was a separate Adams foundation. Mm-hmm. And so we, um, with the help Steve Stark was the president of MGM Television at the time. He's now a producer on the show. And Andrew Mittman, who was his executive. And they, so we went in and we had done this thing. We pitched it to them. They loved it. It was pretty, it was was like a 20 page, 20 page detailed Bible of what the series should be, which is very similar to what the show is. Yes. Mm -hmm. So with all the characters and and the world and the mythology of Nevermore and what the first season would be in terms of laying out the mystery story. So it was, and what the pilot was. And this is all on spec in terms of what we, it's good. We always do this anyway, just that we know what the show is before we go pitch it. Yeah. So it's something we do whenever we do a show. Right. So they were like, great. We don't even know if we have the rights. We pitched it, but first we pitched it to the rights holder who who really loved it because he you know saw he said there was a which is true there's a sophistication to the Charles Adams cartoons which he didn't feel got captured in a lot of these animated things they felt more kitty mm-hmm. and he liked this cuz it felt more true to the to the tone of of his original work so he was on board right and then MGM through various legal things because of the animated films had was called the right of, of last negotiation. So which basically means if anybody else tried to come in, if MGM came in with like a dollar more, they could get the right. So MGM negotiated the rights. And then we went to, we went out and pitched it around town and had one buyer, which was Netflix. So only one buyer. Only one buyer. Wait, wait, how, how many did you pitch? We oh. pitched five. At least. And yeah. they all said no. 